Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? I hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Today is a little different type of video. It is something I'm really excited for. I didn't know this was coming out and it's incredible. I haven't seen this yet. I'm really, really looking forward to see this. Uh, Unreal Engine 5 is revealed. I want to check it out. So this is still, you know, very kind of new news maybe a lot of you haven't heard of this so let's check it out quickly without further ado let me start this up real quick let's see hopefully it's running fine hello yeah. i'm brian karras technical director of graphics here at epic games hi i'm jerome plateau our director of the special project a few years ago we got together as a team and brainstormed where we thought we could push forward the state-of-the-art and real-time graphics there were two key areas that this was real out. realistic the this first amazing dynamic global illumination Beautiful bounce lighting, instantaneously. I don't have to be constrained to do a game where the world has to be static. And I'm able to iterate a lot faster. And we call this new system Lumen. Faster. We're about to show you what it is capable of. But first, show me, there was bro. another area that we thought we could push forward. Truly virtualized geometry. The artist wouldn't have to be concerned over poly counts, draw calls, what? memory. We could directly use film quality assets and bring them straight into the engine. And that's a big deal for artists. I just want to be able to import my ZBrush model, my photogrammetry scan, my CAD data, without wasting any time optimizing, creating LODs, or even lowering the quality to make it hit frame rate. In the end, that's what it's all about. Art that just works. And we We're call here, this guys. new technology Nanite. This here is, is the are. future of Unreal Engine running live on a PlayStation 5. Awesome. Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look. All right, this is where we are now. Just straight model. Oh, this has to be the What? That's straight CGI, son. Before we continue, let's stop a moment and take a look at some of the key features of this demo. Much of what you see was built with Quixel Megascan assets, but instead of using the game versions, we used the cinematic versions which would typically only be used in film. Straight up They're around scans. a million triangles each. And thanks to virtual texturing, they all use 8K textures as well. What? Nanite can render an insane number of triangles very quickly. There are over a billion triangles of source geometry in each frame that Nanite crunches down losslessly to around 20 million drawn triangles. What? What does that many triangles look like? This isn't noise. These are the triangles, each a different color. Most are so small that they look like noise. Nanite achieves detail down to the pixel, which means triangles are often the size of pixels. This amount of geometric Nanite. detail requires shadows to be pixel accurate as well, and Nanite can do that too. Look at that shadow. Speaking of lighting, all of the lighting in this demo is completely dynamic. With the power of Lumen, that even includes multi-bounce global illumination. No light maps, no baking here. Without GI, all of that beautiful lighting is gone. With Lumen enabled, we can move the light and the bounce changes instantly. How do you do that? This is ray tracing. Okay, let's keep going. That's ray tracing, bro. How do you do that? These guys are so We've talented. Made some great guys. additions to our audio system as well. Convolution Reverb allows us to measure reverberation characteristics of real spaces, like actual caves that we sampled, and reproduce them in virtual spaces. Sound field rendering allows us to record and playback spatialized audio. You don't think about sound, or at least I don't. But then they then they come out with this. All of this adds up to a more immersive experience. Look at the wall, dude. Look at all these walls. Look at all that detail. The 8K textures working right there and all this nanite stuff. Look at that. Look at the detail on that. It's like pixel perfect. That's crazy. This is like CG. No. This swarm of bats was created with our Niagara effects system. Particles in Niagara can now talk to one another and understand their environment like never before. What? Particles? Those animals are particles? We've also added a ton of new functionality to run fluid simulations like you see in the water below. Oh shit, look at that. That's pretty cool. That looks pretty good. Not as good as the geometry though. Because this looks insane. I mean, the walls and everything. The 
The demo runs on our Chaos Physics system. Here we are using it to accurately simulate the rigid bodies of the falling rocks and the cloth of her scarf. Bro, imagine. I mean, the bitrate is an issue here in this kind of detail, like for streamers and stuff. And you can't really appreciate unless you have it running on your machine. Look at that, dude. What? This is now crazy. that the environment is so complex, we've needed to greatly improve our animation systems to adapt. We've added predictive foot placement and motion warping, which dynamically modifies IK and body position to look more natural. For the character to more realistically interact with the environment, we've added the ability to trigger seamless contextual animation events, like her hand on the door. That's promising. That's pretty crazy, though. Damn, look at that. That's pretty That's pretty crazy. Look at the fingers and everything. Dynamic cool. TI is amazing, not just for speeding up iteration, but also for its impact on gameplay. Nice Any lights. light source can move while still having be. beautiful bounce lighting. Spike outside. Dynamic illumination okay. means specular as well, which you can what? see on all the metal surfaces. Well, look at that. It looks you pretty amazing. You can even see the Niagara-powered bugs reacting to the light. And this is still kind of things you, you see today. Lumen not but... only reacts to moving light sources, but also changes in geometry. Not this type of detail. I mean, I can see, I see like, uh, what do you call it? Oh, what's that game? The Remember Elder Scrolls. Remember we mentioned high poly assets? Running this on statue this. was imported directly from ZBrush and is more than 33 million triangles. Holy. No baking of normal maps, no authored LODs. No baking nothing? Baking obsolete? And we can do more than a single statue. There are nearly 500 of that exact statue at the same detail level placed in this room for a total of over 16 billion triangles from statues alone. Over this entire demo, there are hundreds of billions of triangles. This is a new technology, straight up. It's not like we have super new hardware in the PlayStation. And the Xbox Series Series X. It's not like super new hardware. So with Nana, all you those have statues, to all that. Like, look at that. Lumen, That's crazy. You have fully dynamic That's lighting insane. and global illumination, all running on a I mean, How much more realistic can you get from this, though? You know, you know what I mean. Like, we're gonna reach a point where everything is so realistic that. I mean, there's nowhere else to go. Look at how many polygons, everything. Look at look at the detail and all this. Look at that. How do you do that? How do you create an engine that is so optimized and well tuned? Look at that. Look at that. There's not much time. That's crazy. This need to be and this is the engine. Small rooms. So this game, all the way so this engine will be running on both PlayStation and Xbox. And hopefully PC what? too. I mean, PC should be able to run this. As long as we use that uh, that Unreal Don't technology. Look at that. That's crazy. So it works for open world as well. I bet if you go close to one of these statues or these, these buildings, you'll see all that detail. Imagine Fortnite with this bit. Don't do it. Keep Fortnite on low. Look at that. Look at that. I need to see this. I need to see more of this. That's crazy. It's time what? to see what's next. What? That's insane. That's insane, guys. Like, ah, oh, man, my mind is blown. What? How can you do that? That's that's insane. I mean, whew, I remember when the PS PS2 came out or the PS1, that jump was was crazy. Like that was insane to me. And then you see this, like from going from good graphics to this, it's like ray tracing. It's basically like ray tracing, like RTX. Hopefully soon we'll see some more demos on all this. I mean, they, they canceled E3. I bet E3 would have been amazing. Yeah, we'll see when, when more demos come out. I'm sure they'll send out some demos anyway. Maybe they'll have some substitute for E3. Who knows? All right, guys. <laughs> Take it easy, all that. I'll see you guys in the next one, right? Bye-bye.